late. This is so horrible. Out of the way! Hmm. I might be able to do something with this. Rita, watch out! Behind you! We won't let you fix the barrier! What the hell? It's just one thing after another. I'm sick of this. Let's eliminate them. Looks like we have those guys to thank for the barrier Blastia failing on us. But why? Looks like you've got your hands full over here. So the Don's little lecture didn't stick? I'm just doing what I can to help. How's the repair of the barrier Blastia going? That'll depend on our genius mage here. Mm, the core is still there. They just fiddled with your formula a bit and stopped it, didn't they? What the... This is... An amplifier? And this formula again. The same as they were using back on Amid Hill. The barrier disappeared when the monsters attacked. It can't be a coincidence that they happened at the same time, can it? Probably not. So does your appearance here mean this is tied up with all the Empire's problems? I don't know. That's why I came here to check things out. That goes there, and this goes here. That's our Rita. All right, time to clean up the monsters outside the barrier. The guilds won't be able to complain if we fight monsters outside the city. We'll leave the monsters to Flynn. Let's go to the Union and ask about Barbos. You really trust Flynn, don't you? Only because there's no one else I can trust. That's how I look at it. Yuri, I don't get you sometimes. How many guilds are there in this city? I don't know the exact number, but I think there are more than a hundred. Whoa, that many? Are all of them in the Union? <laughs> nah, not all of them, but... I guess around 90% of them are Union members. Wow, and the Don's at the top of them all. That guy's amazing. That's why he's the Don! What are you so proud about? The Don's the amazing one, not you. We need to talk to the Don about something. Help us out, could you? It's a matter that concerns the five master guilds. I haven't seen you around here recently. What guild do you belong to? Eh, we don't belong to a guild exactly. Unfortunately, the Don has left town in pursuit of the monsters. He went after the monsters? Yes. He plans on taking out the monster nests in one fell swoop. I see. Thanks for the information. No worries. If I went and helped them, I could prove myself to the Dawn. Oh well, shall we go look for that information in town? What? We're not going to help the Dawn? So you know where the monster nests are then? Oh, well, good point. Since it seems like you won't be making progress anytime soon, I'm gonna go check out Cave Mock. How selfish! I just want to get it out of the way as soon as possible. Then does that mean Estelle's going along with you? Yes. I told Alexei I was going to go after all. Don't worry. We'll be fine between the two of us. Sorry, afraid not. If you got hurt or anything, Flynn would hunt me down and kill me. You're gonna go, Yuri? Well, we don't really have any good leads around town that we're following anyway. Then it's decided. Let's go to the forest of Cave Mock. Going to Cave Mock, are they? What a coincidence. Come to think of it, why was Flynn and Don Grest? 
The Empire and the Union have never gotten along, so knights don't show up here often. I doubt they're here to see the sights, either. It's gotta be tied up in one of their duties. Do you think Flynn's all right? Those guild people were being really mean to him. Flynn's no delicate little flower. He can take some heat. Don't forget, before he was a knight, he had to make it on the streets of the lower quarter. I hope you're right. Congress has a very different atmosphere from the capital, doesn't it? The city seems so energetic. Everyone here is so full of life. Of course! It's the largest guild city. Everyone lives according to their own principles. Do you like Dongrath, Distel? Yes, I think it's lovely. What about you, Yuri? Hmm? I think it'd be a really great city if the barrier wasn't crapping out. Yuri, will you please let that go? I'm kidding. The city's not bad at all. It even feels kind of like the lower quarter. who controls the Union. What is Don Whitehorse like? In a word, big. Big voice, big body, big everything. We already know what he looks and sounds like. We saw him, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. Well, he's a really cool person. Does that answer your question, Estelle? It's clear that Carol has a lot of respect for the Don, but that's about the only thing that's clear. He's so cool that it can't be expressed in words. We'll just leave it at that then. trees this big existed yeah but it doesn't exactly look healthy for them to be this overgrown it's just like you said carol it's like what happened at heliord when the blastia went berserk be careful there's somebody here hey what a coincidence what the hell are you doing in a place like this you know out for a forest stroll, taking in the nature. Something smells fishy. What? Where's my welcome? You didn't think we'd honestly be glad to see you, right? Ah, uh, you don't mean that. I can come in handy, you know. You're not thinking of coming with us, right? Of course. It's lonely being out here all by my lonesome. What? No dice? 
You'd better watch your back. If you try anything funny, you're dead. Hey, you don't really think my story stinks that bad, do ya? Yeah, the stench is sort of coming off you in waves. Really? <laughs> I can't take responsibility for what I'll do if you make any sudden moves. Don't forget that. I know there's not much point in bringing it up again, but this guy's really fishy. Yeah, how long's he planning to stick with us anyway? Does he even have a good reason for being in Cave Mock? You heard him, old man. Spit it out. Huh? I'm gonna stick with you guys as long as need be. And as for my reasons, I thought I told you. I'm on a mission of self-discovery. You said you were out for a forest stroll. Take it in the nature. Oh, I did? If I had a memory that bad, I'd want to find myself too. There you go. Really fishy. Really, really, really fishy. Don't mind me. Do whatever you came to do. What should we do about him? Do you know any tricks that'll convince us you're worth keeping around? Do I look like some kind of street magician to you? Hey, you. Come here a second. What? M me? Huh? What do you want with Carol? No! Ah! Don't just leave me here! Show him what for, kid! Why me? Okay, this isn't funny anymore! Should be any minute now. They just wait for them to let their guard down, give them a little poke, and then BAM! Geez, I bet you're great at parties. I suppose that was good enough. Really? Yes. Alright. 
stay. You mean I passed? I can stay? Uh, are you kidding? It'll be much easier to do things to him if we keep him nearby. What do you mean, things? Hadn't thought about that. Okay, just got a little chill up my spine. Well then, Mr. Raven, after you. <laughs> right. Let's just get it over with.
Wow, Carol, when you freak out, you really freak out. Come on, everyone has a few things they're afraid of, don't they? Not me. Now, now, genius mage, it's not nice to lie. Even old Raven's got his own fears. What are you afraid of, old man? I'm afraid of pretty girls. What? Yeah, yeah. Rita, it's better to come clean. That way we can help you out. Like anyone needs your help. I can take care of myself just fine. Her type always has some of the worst fears. Yeah, whatever. Just hear a voice? I wonder where you're taking me, matey. I've heard that voice before. Patty? What? Is she a friend of yours? We've got to help her! 
Yeah, yeah, just leave it to me. He hit it! Nice catch! Yeah? So you're still looking for Eifried's treasure? Eifried? Aye! Yeah, right. Treasure in a place like this? Who gave you that load of crap? The Map Making Guild! World Seller tells me all sorts of things. After all, those lads travel all around the world. Is that why you went to Rago's mansion too? But there wasn't anything there, right? No, but a story that's 100% believable is all the more fishy. Hmm, I suppose that's true. Except that you're 100% fishy. Hey, no need to be mean now. Anyway, I've got to get back to my treasure hunting. If you keep wandering around all alone, you'll get attacked by monsters again. That monster didn't attack me. We were playing together. I don't think the monster saw it that way. Hey, behind you! <laughs> I guess that means she'll be fine on her own. Will you come with me? I appreciate the offer, but treasure hunting will have to wait until another day. That's an awful shame, but nonetheless, I must go. Farewell! She's gone! Is she really gonna be okay? She said she'll be fine, so yeah, why not? I hope you're right. Still, it's not like worrying's gonna change anything. Come on, let's get going. Thank you. 